and all quiet on the set please and turn over cameras rolling totally awesome filming scene one take one and action welcome to totally awesome well totally awesome lucky this time fishing do you know what I was going down the river test just to see if it was flooded. I thought, have a drive out with the wife, a little bit of shopping in Romsey and Winchester, but I always take a camera. It's usually a big one. This time it's a little slimline pocket one. What a good job I put it in my pocket because I dropped into Sutton Springs Trout Fishery in Hampshire on the way through. Never been there in my life before and I just got lucky. The owner, Nigel Jackson, was clearing out one of his major stock ponds stocking him into the lake oh my god omg big time check this footage out i have never in all my life seen so many big double figure and 20 pound trout going into a lake and i had no fishing rod not a fly not a rod i had nothing oh it's torment but for you guys i got it on my baby camera let's check it out sutton springs consists of two venues one of which is a day ticket water that offers fly fishing in a clear water lake for quality monster brown and rainbow trout. The minimum stock size is 10 pounds. 20 pounders are common and larger fish are available for anglers wanting to stalk individual big specimens. And how big do they grow? According to their website, the largest caught to date weighed a mind blowing 37 pounds, two ounces. There's no doubt that Sutton Springs owner, Nigel Jackson, has a production line of giant rainbows for his fly fishing customers. He's been in the business as long as I can remember. And by pure chance, I dropped in just as they were about to undertake a totally awesome trout stocking. Just round here where I've got it. We're stopping there to drag you in. I've never seen him go in like this before, must have been. Fish, 
Nigel has always been at the forefront of producing big trout. Although I probably haven't seen him for 20 years, he is still there in the water himself, grading out the best trout possible for his customers. Most trout fisheries today are run on a put and take basis. The fish are stocked, it's up to the angler to catch them. Even the commercial coarse fisheries have to stock fish, but unlike trout, the coarse fish aren't eaten. Trout feed is extremely expensive, so to grow a huge trout takes years and money. But many anglers get hooked themselves when they catch their first double figure fish. And the cost of a day's fishing reflects this. You need a minimum of eight pound line and a single fly no larger than size eight. How big is that, you reckon? 25 or something, that one? That big 17, one? 18. The big one? It's bigger. Sunday is not sure for that call. You'll be knackered time you finish. Yeah, I'm not ready. Do you reckon there's more than 30 in there, Nigel? In there? No, probably No, I mean the whole pond total. What would you say? Oh, there was probably 40. I don't know. 40 or so, yeah. I don't care because it's just empty pond. It's just an empty pond, yeah. There's one there, is there? Oh, oh thanks! Oh. Ah. You nearly took him in then. Oh, hey, I'll hold it out. These giant rainbows and browns represent a huge investment and they have to be moved from the holding pond to the fishing lake in as short a time as possible. The fastest way in this case is a plastic wheelbarrow of water, a strong pair of arms and the legs of a marathon runner. And while I was there, they stopped around 40 to 50 double figure and 20 pound trout into the lakes. Put a video and a bit of, well that's a chunky one, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> a little one. <laughs> With the stocking transfer done, Nigel was off to the other lakes to transfer fish there, and the lakes returned to the tranquil setting that the fly fishermen love. Clear water, a good pair of polarising glasses to cut down the glare, and then you can see those huge trout cruising in the water. And with each pull of your line comes that pulse racing excitement that your next trout might be a 20 pounder. But with such big fish in the water, your tackle needs to be up to the job. They will find any weakness, a badly tied knot, old leader, or even just the hook itself. This type of stocking is the norm for many day ticket trout fisheries. But what isn't the norm is the huge number of big trout Nigel stocks. Take my word, this was not something done for the cameras. I just turned up at the right time, and one young fly fisherman was already weighing in an 18 pounder when I arrived. And that was before those fish were stocked. And just when you think the battle is won, ping, the hook pulls out. So that is absolutely straightened that hook, isn't it? Yeah. Opened it right up. And what fly is that one called? 
I have no idea. <laughs> Look for sure the one, yeah. the one that's lost the trout, that's, that's the fly. It. I've tried everything, any case. But, uh, Is that your first take? No, I've had, that's the uh, second one. I, I've lost one. That last that I got one with it, that's fine. And you come here much, do you? No, it's the first time. Oh, first time. Well, you're going to get some more from what I've seen him stock. You're definitely going to get, get another shot. And what luck for this Hailsham angler, James Dauber, with an 18-pounder. Nigel Jackson and Sutton Springs can offer every fly fisherman the chance of their dream trout. It might be their first double or their first 20 pounder. Or dare I say it, a magic rainbow over the 30 pounds mark. You cannot dispute the trout being stocked. It's up to the fly fisherman to catch them. Now, where's my fly rod? <laughs>